back. I am so excited to share this with you. If you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you may have already seen some updates on this piece. But what I'm real excited about is the fact that it turned out wrong. So I had a lot of personal growth through this, um, through this sculpture because it's quite large for me. And uh, when you've worked a long time on something, you really want it to turn out when it comes out of the kiln. But this time, it didn't come out even close to what I was expecting. But in the end, it all came together because I started it with a purpose and ended it with the same purpose. And the effects of the kiln ended up really working with the concept I had started out with. Who knew? Anyway, let me share it with you and I'll explain more about how the piece comes together at the end. Hope you guys enjoy.
said gat, getting ready to be bisked. I'm gonna fire it really, really slow because my biggest concern here is that it's not gonna hold together. I don't know why. Uh, I just, I don't know. I've secured it the best I know how, but we will see actually if this all works out. It made it through the bisque load. I am so excited. Uh, I'm getting ready to glaze it now, but I've made such a mess because I'll share what else I've been doing in this studio shortly. But um, yeah, I gotta clean my mess up first and then I can start glazing this baby and shove it back in the kiln at Cone. going off this imagery right here where there's the five peaks one two three four five okay and then I'm gonna have the moon and the Sun on each side because that would have been the um, the king and the queen Here's the initial glazes. You can't see them all, and they're, most of them are under glazes, but now I need to cover them with wax resist, and then I am going to pour over the celadon. Uh, 
I'm trying not to be disappointed. Um, I tried the glaze once and it went on way too thick, so I had to scrub it off. Then I had to reglaze all the the parts. I did that again, all the little water and the waterfalls, and uh, made it a lot thinner. And it looked like it went on well. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to try and make this look decent. This was this was a project. I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, but. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is clear up some of these light patches and I'm thinking of rubbing some India ink inside there uh, because I do have the wash effect on it and I really wanted to accentuate. I think there are little tiny cracks in here which was what I was going to do anyway but let's just see if it if it comes to a different look. Um, okay this is what I'm going to use. Uh, I got this at a yard sale obviously for 50 cents but it's super black India ink and I'm going to see if I can rub it ever so gently inside the grooves. Looks like quite a bit, so I don't know. I don't know if I need that much. I'm gonna start it in a shiny area first. I had this plan from the beginning. You know what? Maybe I should try it on. <laughs> A woman of note. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.